Phineas and Ferb Save Summer. The special begins with a musical sequence so ambitious that all the recycled animation it uses is completely understandable. Then the plot begins in earnest as two rivals have their events right next to each other. Love Muffin registered as Hatfield and Alka registered as Capulet, which is just one notch more clever than necessary and I love it. In the aftermath of the brawl, Monogram gets fired from his post by Jay Leno and he doesn't even get the dignity of a TBS pickup. Then Doof moves the Earth away from the sun, risking the loss of summer forever, and nobody knows what to do about it. And I will do everything in my power to recommend you wear a cardigan or light sweater. But all my sweaters are ugly and Christmas themed! Well then, just wear warmer clothes. Oh great, even fictional politicians refuse to act on climate change. Phineas and Ferb try to move the Earth back into place, but it's no easy task. Meanwhile, Love Muffin goes full West Side Story on Alka, leading even Monty to get involved in the fight. And Candace tries to get over her fear of spiders, which is only made worse when one hospitalizes Stacy. That's... dark. There's quite a few fun beats in this one. Monty Monogram is a character who doesn't get all that much screen time, so it's nice to see him fulfill his dream of following in his father's footsteps and fighting evil with Alka. I've got to warn Carl. Okay, tell me you didn't hear that. Well, the building's settling. So our building has a sudden urge to warn Carl. And Doof and Rodney's rivalry is always a delight to watch. You sounded like a bashful Santa Claus pitching softballs to a girl in a bikini. All right, number four. You don't know what that sounds like. Wallace Shawn has a fun guest role as a clueless spelunking instructor. Now we're going to squeeze past this stalactite. I mean, stalagmite. Wait, which one is on top? Actually, I believe that's just a hole. Oh, oh, I seem to be trapped. Turn away, folks. I'm going to have to saw my arm off. And I never get tired of seeing the current whereabouts of the building from Doof's side of the moon. This might have some of the biggest stakes of any Phineas and Ferb episode. Usually it's just the tri-state area on the line, not the entire planet. So compared to that, Candace's stakes seem pretty small, even if they are intensely personal. But they have to be overcome in order to help with the big stakes. And Phineas means well, but he's not great at being supportive to somebody going through something. He's being silly. Heck, I don't even remember what I was afraid of. Spiders. <laughs> Candace, you forgot the box. Yeah, subtle nuance is not Phineas' strength, is it? Although I guess he's better at it than Buford. Buford! I think there must be something wrong with this program. <laughs> <laughs>